Now, what you're going to see here is why the hierarchy of power in the DC universe is about to change. Well, I don't know about all that, but it was a lot of fun. So yeah, Black Adam has finally released after being in development hell for like 15 years, I think. I had no idea it was even in development hell. I had no idea The Rock was planning to play, you know, Black Adam since like, what, 2007 or something like that? I don't know. I could be wrong, but that's insane. And now the movie's finally here and Dwayne Johnson has been advertising this movie like crazy and I, I absolutely love the fact that he's so excited to play this character he's so excited to promote this movie I just love seeing people being happy about the films that they're making you know I love movies and seeing the people working on the movies being just as excited as the fans I think it's amazing I guess that's another reason why I love Tom Cruise so much you know he's so crazy about the movies but yeah we finally got Black Adam and from the trailers I wasn't too excited about it it, it just seemed like another action movie with the rock honestly just him playing a superhero this time and yeah it didn't really grab me that the trailer seemed more mainstream more mcu style than something that i prefer darker like the batman or zack snyder's justice league you know those are the movies i prefer i, I can still enjoy those fun family movies but um yeah uh it, it just didn't seem like it was my type of movie it just seemed like another forgettable action movie and that's true but also not so true i would say it's yeah it's just like that it's just like an mcu movie it really does feel like an mcu movie where it has a lot of comedy it has a lot of action and it, it's just it's just many more of a family friendly movie but um i absolutely had a blast with this movie i i don't know why i think there's something you know i didn't see black adam when I was watching a movie, I saw Dwayne Johnson playing a, just the, an overpowered, super anti-hero. So that's what I saw the whole time. I didn't, I didn't see Black Adam. And me, I personally, am, I'm not a huge like Black Adam fan. So I, I don't really know much about his origins or the character himself. So he doesn't really resonate with me so much. So I didn't mind seeing Dwayne Johnson really take over the role. I, I understand it to some people who are huge fans of uh, Black Adam and... The way Dwayne Johnson portrayed him, I would see why some of them would feel a little betrayed or, you know, feel like it's a little bit disrespectful to the character Black Adam. But me, not being such a big fan, I was okay with just letting Dwayne Johnson take over the role. And yeah, I gotta say, the best thing about this movie is the action. The action, in my opinion, is just so much fun. It, it reminds me of a more goofier, lighthearted version of the action we got in Man of Steel and Man of Steel still to this day i think has some of if not the best superhero action scenes that i have seen in any superhero movie i absolutely love the action scenes that zack snyder directed and man of steel and i even think those action scenes surpass that of zack snyder's justice league i love zack snyder's justice league but i think even the action there doesn't compare to the action in man of steel and while again this was a more much more lighthearted movie i think the action is easily the best part about this movie because it is just non-stop you know the first 15 minutes i was thinking okay you know we're getting a lot of exposition we're getting a lot of information regarding this character it's a new character so i understand that but where the hell is black adam where is you know dwayne johnson where is the start of the show and as soon as dwayne johnson shows up from that point on to pretty much the end of the movie it is just an action thrill ride and i absolutely loved it i love the action they really made Black Adam look like a god. Again, they took a more comedic route and they didn't really make it as philosophical or, you know, as a bunch of like the whole Jesus stuff that they did with like Man of Steel and Superman. They really went for like just an over the top, insanely powerful bad guy or anti-hero. But I still dug it because the action was insane. They, they showed so many ways in which Black Adam was so powerful and was just completely beating down on all these henchmen and also the uh, Justice Society. And I'll get into that a little bit later. But yeah, they really just did a good job at showing how powerful Black Adam is, how powerful Dwayne Johnson is, and just how fun these action scenes can get. Because I think a lot of the action scenes for a lot of superhero movies are nowadays starting to get very dull and very boring. And for this movie, I think while I've seen it before, I haven't seen it 
done as well as in this movie. I always prefer having named superheroes fight against one another or superhero, supervillain, supervillain, supervillain. I, I, I'm getting really tired of having superheroes fighting hordes of like nameless, you know, henchmen, nameless bad guys. So when this movie really had Black Adam, a main character fight against the Justice Society, other main characters or at least side characters that aren't just henchmen i really enjoy that i really love seeing team ups characters coming together and fighting one bad guy it kind of reminded me of infinity war when all the avengers were fighting thanos you know in titan compared to when the avengers were fighting all the um i forgot they were called but like thanos's army in wakanda like i always prefer the titan battle over the wakanda battle even though i love both of them so when this Gave me more of that more of like just black adam fighting the jsa i was extremely happy I, I was really enjoying seeing each character really use their powers you know we got hawkman who is oh my god i feel so bad that i forgot his name i'm not really good with names for the most part but um hawkman the guy that he was in the, the invisible man and then since then as soon as i heard he was playing hawkman i actually got really excited now hawkman hawkman is a character that i've always wanted to see in the justice league or at least on the big screen for some reason at least in my childhood i always saw him in you know the cartoons uh comic books even though i don't read much but i always saw hawkman he was always there hawkman was there with the justice league and you know you, you find him everywhere all kinds of merch and i was surprised that it took this long to get him into a movie and played by an actor who i really enjoyed after seeing him in the invisible man i was excited to see him he doesn't really get much character development but you know his character enough you know he, he is a bit of a character caricature but you get enough information about him to understand that he is like this hard-headed, almost like this Captain America guy who, who really s sticks to his guns and doesn't take no for an answer. And he doesn't care how strong Black Adam is. If it's his job to arrest Black Adam, then that's what he's going to do. Then, of course, we get Dr. Fate, who, for the most part, in general, the CGI was done pretty well. There were some shots that were a bit wonky, especially with the villain at the end. Fucking wacky ass shit. But Dr. Fate, I think Dr. Fate and Black, um, I mean, Dr. Fate and Hawkman were easily the two standout characters. You know, they were the more veterans. They were the ones that have been there, done that. And you can tell Dr. Fate, he's kind of just, Black Adam is just another mission to him. It's, it's just uh, another, another fight, another assignment. And I love seeing that. And he was a more calm and collected one where he was like, okay, I'll, you know, I'll do my job i'll show off my powers when i have to but i'm not really here to really do too much unless i'm really needed and i'm so happy that we got one action scene with him towards the end because throughout the movie he was there and his presence was there and you were enjoying it but you didn't really get one badass action scene with him until the end so i'm happy about that then we got adam smasher and the other person who was there just to fill out the team I feel bad for these two characters. Adam Smasher was easily the comic relief. He was, you know, a rookie. He was making a bunch of dumb mistakes. Some of the comedy there between him and Hawkman was a little funny, but for the most part, he was kind of just there to be goofy. It reminded me of Deadpool. And then there is the female character who, nothing against her. I mean, she did a fine job, but they really gave, she, she really got, pretty much got nothing to work with. And pretty much all of her character development was in like a couple of sentences that she shared with Adam Smasher. That was really all that you got. So yeah, this movie is really about Black Adam taking on the JSA, and it's got these side characters, these human characters. You know, every superhero movie has to have uh, human characters, human side characters. And while the mom, she, she was fine, I enjoyed her, but uh, the brother, he brought much more of the uh, the comedy into this movie. I think he did okay. None of the comedy in this movie, none of it was horrible, but the most I got out of this comedy, out of the comedy in this movie, was a couple of chuckles. So. It wasn't bad, but it also wasn't really good. Now, I gotta say, probably the worst part about this movie is that little kid. I am so tired of that trope where whenever a young kid meets a superhero, he's always talking about marketing and, you know, like how they can make money off of him. He needs catchphrases. He needs all that crap. It's, it's just become like this annoying stereotype. And I understand maybe that's how kids would react once they make friends with a superhero. That's probably how I would react too, but... Just seeing it just play every time you get a young kid with a superhero. I'm just getting so tired of it. And most of the comedy that that kid was throwing in the movie was not for me. I found it very annoying. And I just, 
I was I was getting upset that we were spending so much time with him. I understand he was kind of important to the whole story of the movie, but I just wish they they toned his um his excitement down a little bit. Besides that, the next bad thing about it was the villain. There is a third villain in this movie. He's been shown a little bit in the marketing, not too much because he's really focused on Dwayne Johnson, but you know, I don't really consider that a spoiler if they put him into marketing and he is just as boring and as forgettable as any other Marvel villain. That's what I'm saying. Like this movie really reminds me of a Marvel movie and he does nothing to the story except add another action scene, which honestly was probably the weakest action scene because he is very forgettable. His powers aren't really too unique. He's just a really strong guy. That's really all we get of him. So I kind of wish the third act was really just gone and we spent more time with Black Adam taking on the Justice Society. Now there's also um, a couple of sprinkles talking about how um, Justice Society really only helps out their own people like American lives and they're not really too worried about helping out those the, the smaller people or people who um, don't really have superheroes you know flying around and protecting them people who are still getting killed by all kinds of different kind of like military and there's something about that that I found very interesting some some talks about that but the sad part is this movie was focused too much on the um the action and the comedy that a serious matter like that was really only spoken about like a few times with uh, some characters and we really didn't really go too in depth with that and I wish we could, we went more in depth with that because I think it's a um, it's a really good um thing about how superheroes really only come here to neutralize a threat that most of the time they started themselves or just the fact that they come here to wipe out a bad guy and aren't too worried for the most part about just saving you know the little guy saving saving people saving individuals at certain times when you know there are other people killing them you know they're more focused on killing the big bad guys than they are about helping out individuals so that was a nice topic, but again, it was only like sprinkled in with throughout a, like a little bit in the movie. So yeah, I don't think this movie isn't anything special, but I also can't say that this movie is very forgettable. I, I, for some reason, I really enjoyed it. I was just hooked from the moment the rock started and he started just kicking ass in this movie. I, I had a blast. It was something that I can just turn my brain off for a little bit and just enjoy it from pretty much almost the start because again we got those 15 minutes of like exposition but almost the start to the end that i absolutely had a blast it's something i can easily rewatch again and again it's you know it's not as special or as important as something like infinity war or even like civil war endgame it's it's nothing like that it's not man of steel batman vs superman it's not Zack snyder's justice league but Comparing it to most of like MCU movies and even most of DCU movies, I think this is one of the more enjoyable, easy movies to watch, you know, because there are a lot of easy movies that you can watch where you can just put it on and kind of just do other stuff. And this is probably one of the better ones of those kinds. You know, it, it's still, it's not even close to reaching the big superhero movies like The Dark Knight. It's nothing like that, but it's definitely one of the better ones of the easy ones to watch. And I highly recommend it. I hope, you know, people put more money into it because uh, apparently, you know, there, there are people leaving Warner Brothers. There are people leaving the DC studio. And hopefully with the end credits, that was pretty much spoiled, which kind of sucks. Hopefully we can restore the Snyderverse because I'm still a huge fan of the Snyderverse. And I'm, I'm really just trying to see Zack Snyder's Justice League 2 and 3. That, that's really what I want to see. And I'm okay with having... Dwayne Johnson's Black Adam in there, you know, why not have them all in there, have Hawkman, Adam Smasher, Dr. Fate, bring everybody in there, I'm, I'm trying to see something like that, I'm hoping if we pour money into this, we can see something like that happen, so yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see where this could possibly go, and besides that, just the movie itself, it's just a lot of fun, turn your brain off, know what you're getting yourself into, it's Dwayne Johnson, you know you're not gonna get you know the, you're not gonna get you're not gonna get fucking Shawshank Redemption, okay? You're gonna get something fun. You're gonna get popcorn fun. It's gonna be dumb fun. So just know that going in, and I think you're gonna have a blast. But as always, thanks for watching.